Jennifer here from Belladonna's Botanicals. Thought I'd switch up the location for some videos. I've been filming over in the, the living room uh, YouTube studio. So now we're at Alter Studio and random crap that's part of my desk because um, my computer's right over there. But anyways, so um, recording this week's videos and I have a few things, topics to discuss. So I think the first one, because it's on my mind, because I've had a few... Uh, questions about this recently it, uh, that pertains to, especially because I do, excuse me, flying ointments and tinctures using entheogenic herbs, um, nightshades, uh, fly agaric mushrooms, and things of that nature. Now, in the United States, those are all legal to use and sell as, as is for the most part, there are some restrictions um, as I've mentioned in other videos, like deuterostromonium is a noxious weed, so there are some uh, that I've, while they make kind of a sweeping law against deuterostromonium, it's more going to be if you're buying seeds and plants or selling them um, that there's some restrictions because it's it's classified as a noxious weed. So some things there are restrictions on state to state by state for that very reason. Um, <clears throat> but what I use in my products is legal. Um, I've gotten questions, though, about, you know, at, would I consider adding, like, you know, CBD or THD to them? Now, that is something that that varies wildly from state to state in the U.S., and it's not so much a matter of the legality of it, per se. It's that in order to sell those products, there is a whole other layer and very expensive layer of things that need to be done in order to do that. Like, first off, I would need to get an entirely separate um, business liability and product liability policy specific for the CBD products. And when you get into niche stuff, it's really um, like, for example, I know this is completely unrelated, but like for ch for selling products, for children under the age of 12 and babies, you need to have a separate policy for that. And that is going to be probably at least a minimum of $5,000 a year. Now, if you're a big company, you can afford that. Small business, not so much. That's why you don't see a lot of, you know, stuff for, you know, natural stuff or, or small businesses doing a lot of things um, for children. Um, so there's a whole host of liability issues there. And I, well, I don't have kids. I'm sure if my kid, if I did and they got injured from a product or got a rash from something, I would be very Sue happy. So that's the reason why. Um, so you've got having to add an entire different um, level of insurance. And in a lot of cases, you need to have special licenses and there's application processes um, for that then, you know, you kind of have to look at, okay, well, I can do this. Can I sell it? You know, then it would have to be finding a way to restrict it from the sale of it in states where it's maybe not legal or not entirely legal. Or one thing is, but the other thing isn't. Um, <laughs> excuse me. So that's another issue that's there as far as management. Like I know I've seen um, like other, like say aromatherapy places that sell CBD products or health and beauty they usually have to have an entirely separate business and brand and website for that. So, you know, you're looking at another DBA, which is doing business as like, I have an LLC. So when I rebranded, I did uh, DBA as Belladonna's Botanicals. Um, so I would have to do a DBA as something else. You know, it's a few hundred bucks, I think, to do that. Um, if they allow it under that, you might have to have an entirely separate business and then you're going into um, much more expensive uh, things. So you have to do that, um, you know, doing your a, a separate website, a separate thing is the most, at least now um, with the payment processor I have, I would at least have the payment processing for it, but you know, not every place is going to allow that like you can't sell cbd products on amazon or etsy or, or place or platforms like that so um let's say thing with like thd products and whatnot so that's kind of what my answer is to that if if in the future it becomes much more easier to manage and not quite 
as huge of a, of a legal issue because I mean there are a lot of legalities like I didn't even realize this um in like the state of Pe it might be federal um but I know in PA um if you have a medical marijuana license you can't go you can't have a pew pew or buy 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 a pew pew or the things that you put in pew pews um so um it becomes there's there's a whole host of issues that are that go on with that and then there's a diff and it's it's very different for medical marijuana than it is for like the stuff you see at like the cbd shops that have like the thc and the delta 8 and stuff like that and the different kind of extracts in it so <laughs> that's the other thing um now when it comes to plant material there are some that are illegal to you like most of the stuff like that is used like the banisteri coffee which is used in ayahuasca is illegal in the u.s now you can get this stuff but um again i i am not willing to risk my business to do that um uh, I'm mostly disabled. This is my sole form of income. I'm not fucking with that. Um, so, you know, things now there's difference between buying stuff for personal use. But, you know, when you're adding it like the stuff for business, I, I, I can't do that. And there and there's other things. There's a lot of um, plant derivatives that I think Syrian rue is one off the top of my head. a lot of the stuff that goes into um I think into ayahuasca and even for that you have to in the united states um the workaround for that is you know you you for, you have an ayahuasca church and then it becomes you know protected in that sense you can do it that way so um not at that state yet and it's that's not my thing you know i'm not that you know i feel like that that that's out of my wheelhouse so <clears throat> So just to kind of explain that, um, I mean, even things like um, there's a lot of different types of poppies. Um, you'll see a lot of times California poppies or um, uh, I think it's uh, Papavar rubius, which is like the red poppies. Um, now, Papavar somniferum, I mean, that's what poppy seeds come from that you have on a poppy seed bagel um, or you can buy in the store. That's fine. Sometimes you can find the flowers from them. Um, they're obviously not going to be as potent as, say, you know, the juicy pulp that makes the the um, the, the illegal stuff, um, the hard drugs. Um, so that's not something I can. And furthermore, it, it, it's really hard to come by some of these things. Like I would have to grow these things myself. And I just do not have this time, space or wherewithal, wherewithal right now to grow anything i am looking at moving out of the city but hopefully fingers crossed by the end of the year and that is a big enough undertaking in and of itself and i am terrible at growing things um but i digress on that um i mean it, you can grow poppy you know the opium poppies you know you can grow them however you know if you have a you know field of opium poppies in your backyard you're probably going to be be uh drawing the um uh, you, you're probably gonna get on the dea's ra radar pretty fast in the united states so um that's another thing that's kind of you know in that but i just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the the legalities of, of what i can can't and will not do and really what it comes down to for me is I'm never going to risk my business. I'm sorry. It's not worth however much you would pay for a product. Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else on that. Now, <clears throat> I cover legalities specifically pertaining to flying ointments and the use of nightshades. And one of the questions I do get from time to time, and it is covered in that video a little bit more, but I thought I'd bring it up here just as a refresher. Sometimes I get questions that people, if they have to get drug testing, is any of the, are any of those things going to come up in a drug test? And the, the answer is no, um, unless you are suspected of having overdosed on nightshades, they're, they're, there's a specific blood test they use for that. Um, that will pull that would would test for that 
Um, as far as I know, I don't think Amanita muscaria shows up in drug tests. Um, because usually the standard the standard drug tests are gonna are gonna you know be looking at the big things, um, that you know the street drugs and and illegal things in that nature. They're not necessarily looking at herbal medicine or plant medicine or things like that. So, um, I mean, at this point, you can buy like I buy Amanita gum, muscaria gummies at uh, a local shop that sells like kratom, CBD, and THC stuff. So, if I can buy it at the store, it's probably not. But it also depends on how strict your your business or if you're on parole or anything, you know, how strict some of that is. Because um, I mean, different different professions have different standards. Um, you know, I worked in higher education and basically our drug and alcohol policies were like, hey, don't get high or drunk or, or drunk while you're working. They have gotten tipsy a couple of times, but anyways. And oh, unless there's a, a work event, then it's then, then it's okay to drink. Um not that I was ne not that I've never gone for um I used to be a fan of um lunchtime uh, Moscatos with my ex <laughs> when I worked in the college, but um Anywho, <laughs> don't work there anymore, so not a problem. Um, I just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit because I know I do get questions about this. And I try to make, when I'm getting like a lot of questions about the same thing, I try to make a video on it. So it's something I can point to and be like, hey, this, woo. So, and I'm filming all my videos for the week. So anyways, um, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up here because um, I've got, do, do, do. One, two, Probably about six or seven more videos that I have listed that I want to do. So, anyways, love y'all.